Good evening, folks. I'm Andy Babb. Thank you for joining us. A fire in Northport has left one family displaced tonight. More in tonight's top story. Northport Fire and Rescue responded to the Northbrook Apartments around 5.30 this evening. According to fire officials, the blaze appears to have started in the kitchen. The flames were contained to that area, but there was significant smoke damage to the living room and laundry room. The rest of the building's tenants had to be evacuated, but they will be able to return home tonight. The same ha cannot be said, however, for the family living in the apartment where it started. Officials say the cause of the fire is still under investigation. The Crimson Tide is headed to Atlanta next weekend to take on the Georgia Bulldogs in the SEC Championship game, and tickets are already on sale. Prices for those tickets continue to climb as both Alabama and Georgia demolish their biggest in-state rivals. This morning, the cheapest ticket on StubHub.com was $324, and that's for seats not far from the top of the dome. Seats close to the field averaged over $1,000. This game determines who will compete in the BCS National Championship game in Miami against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Bradley Whittington will have more on the matchup coming up in sports. Some West Alabama residents may be getting a questionable text message on their cell phone, and it very well may look like this, and claim, to claim you have won a gift card from Target. The message also urges people to go to a website to claim their prize. Target officials say this is a scam, and there's no way that this is affiliated with their store. One Target employee told WVUA this, this is common during the holiday season, so everyone needs to be extra careful when trusting deals that seem too good to be true. The countdown to the holidays has begun. We are officially one month away from Christmas, and Hanukkah is just 24 days away, and the holiday spirit is visible all around town. Kids told us they can't wait till the reindeer and the sleigh show up at their house, and WVUA caught up with Santa Claus, who says there is still time for kids to make it onto the night shift. For Tuscaloosa, I'm Andy Babb.